Hey everyone, welcome back. How are you guys doing today? If you are new, hello, my name is Margaret and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be talking about my favorite Lexi brushes and if you want to see what they are, then just keep on watching and let's get started with today's video. So out of all of the makeup brushes that are out there, I think Luxie is my favorite makeup brush. They are a little bit more expensive than Morphe, but I personally love Luxie brushes because they are so nice, they're synthetic, and they're cruelty free, and they feel super soft on the face. Not to mention that the handlebar, like the handles, are beautiful pink color. So today I'm going to talk about my favorite Luxie brushes. I have quite a few of them. Um, I have them all in this little acrylic um, Kate Spade pencil holder that I got from Amazon. Um, I think it just looks so nice with the white, with like the clear, and they're all pink and stuff. So that's why I really love Lexi because they kind of have like a really pretty, just like simple colors. So I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, so I'm going to talk to you guys about a few of my favorite Luxie brushes. So I'm going to start off with some of my favorite face brushes. Now for foundation, um, I don't really have a Luxie brush that I like because I don't have a foundation brush. Um, I do have a foundation brush but I use it more for concealer and this is the Luxie 510 foundation brush. Um, I got this in the 12 piece set. It came in that and I actually like this to blend out my um, concealer because I feel like it blends it out really good and it goes really really in there. So that's what I like about this brush is that it blends out my concealer very nicely. And not to mention it's Luxie but it is a very good brush and it feels very soft. The, the um the hairs the synthetic hairs feel really nice and soft so i absolutely love this brush for um blending out concealer for bronzer i have been searching for a powder um brush that is exactly like this so this is the lexi 502 large powder I have been searching for a brush that just is so nice and dense and very like big and fluffy like this ever since I saw Jaclyn Hill use the Tom Ford one. Um, I have been use, searching for a cheaper um, brush that looked exactly like that and I know Morphe has one too. I think it's the M, it's the M something but it's like a large powder brush and um, I just haven't had time to buy it and try it out, but this came, also came in the 12 piece set. Um, Luxie had a 50% off Black Friday sale, so I picked up the 12 piece um, set for just, um, sorry, it was $55, so I picked it up for just $55, but this brush is so nice. I use it to bronze up my face more, just bronze it up. I use it like religiously because it's so nice and soft. I absolutely love this brush and I love how big it is. Um, the next one is this Lexi Precision Foundation 660 brush and this one actually a lot of people got in an Ipsy bag so this is what it looks like. Um, I use this mostly to carve out my cheekbones um, instead of um, for foundation, I use it to contour my face. So I'll just take some powder and just carve out the cheekbones here and carve them out here and then kind of like carve out the the chin and sometimes I'll use it to um, kind of contour my nose as well and sometimes up here as well to contour my forehead. So. Yeah, I really, really like this brush. This was actually the first Lexi brush I ever um, got. I had been wanting to try Lexi for a really long time. And 
Um, I saw that it was gonna be in an Ipsy bag and I kind of hoped that it got it and then I did and then I was so, so happy. You guys, I cannot tell you how excited I was that I got a Luxie brush. And then I got one in my Boxy Charm, and then I got one in my Allure Beauty box. And so then that's kind of where my Luxie um, obsession began. Because I do have an obsession with Luxie brushes. I'm obsessed with them because I feel like they're so nice and really pretty. I love the pink, and then I love the blue bottoms as well. So yeah, this is one of my favorites for contour. The next two brushes, um, this is the Luxie 522 Tapered Highlight and the Luxie Large Angled 504. So this is the Tapered Highlight brush and then this is the Large Angle. So I like to use the Tapered, this kind of brush to um, highlight my face. I feel like it's so much easier to highlight with this type of brush. So what I do is I'll take the product and then I'll just like put it right here and then kind of just like blend it out. So this will kind of like help blend out any type of um, highlight that I put on my face. And then sometimes I'll just like take um, some highlight and put it right at the tip and then just do my the tip of my nose and then I'll just like take it back and then sometimes I'll do the um, my cubic bow. So this one's definitely my favorite highlighting brush. And then the angled brush, you could use it to um, contour, but I actually use it for blush. I feel like um, the way that it's angled kind of makes it easier for me to apply blush. So what I'll do is I'll take some blush and then I'll just um, kind of smile, like half smile, and then just kind of put it right here, like right at the apples of the cheeks is where I will um, mostly blush, <clears throat> apply blush. But this brush is really nice. I absolutely love it. Like I said, this is definitely more like a contour brush if you decide you want to use it that way, but I use it to apply my blush. So those are, um, these five are my favorite face brushes and so now we're gonna go towards the eye brushes. These are the eye brushes that I like, um, my Lux my favorite Lexi eye brushes. Um, I'm only gonna show eight because the other ones are duplicates of these, of um, one or two of these. So I'm not gonna show you the other ones, but I am gonna show you these eight. The first one is this Lexi. Um, 229 tapered blending brush so this is what it looks like um, I really like that the um, it's really nice and small and it has that tapered look so you can use this um, to kind of like darken your outer corner or get the color in your outer corner really good so this is why I really love this brush um, I use it just for that to kind of get that inner like that outer corner color really nice and dark so um the next one is the lexi small tapered blending brush so kind of the same deal it's also a tapered brush but it's a little bit um, more for blending so after i apply the um eye products with the other one i'll take this one and kind of just blend it upward and just kind of get it um all the stuff up in the crease so this is what I use to just like blend blend whatever is in the inner corner out. The next one is an eye shading brush and these just look like regular eye shading brushes like um, this is what it looks like up top. So what I like to do is just um, sometimes I like to get these wet and um, kind of like help pick up the product but I'll just you know apply like shimmery shadows or like an all-over eye color with this color with this brush um just because it's like so easy and you can just like kind of maneuver it around in your eyeball so yeah this, i really like this one as well is this large shader brush so this is what it looks like so for this one i actually um kind of use to um carve out my eyebrows or like blend any or have like blend out any um, concealer up there or apply any um, highlight. Um, so this one's a really good brush for that. It's definitely a little bit bigger 
than the normal shading brush. So these are the two um, right next to each other. As you can see, the large shader brush is definitely a little bit bigger than the regular shader brush. So yeah, I think this is like perfect. Like you can even use this to like blend out your concealer. So I mean, I love that even though brushes, um, they say they have a specific thing that they're meant to do, you don't always have to do it for that. So yeah, these are my two favorite shader brushes. The next one is this large medium angled shading brush. So this is what it looks like. And again, this one's also really good to apply um, your product on the outer corner or even you can even use this to contour your nose. I feel like it'd be really nice for that as well. But I really like just packing the product on the corner and just blending it upward with this one because I feel like it's so easy just to do that. So I absolutely love this. I think I have three of these brushes because I got one when I bought the Luxie um, Detailed Eye Brush Kit and then I got one um, with the 12 piece set and then I got another one with the Luxie Traveling Quad. So yeah, I really like this brush. It's definitely one of my favorite. The next brush is the Luxie Tapered Blending and I actually have two of these this is what it looks like um the first one i got in my allure box so i got an eye alexi tapered blending brush and an allure beauty box and then the second one came in the detailed brush set and i will leave links down below to the detailed brush set and the 12 piece set they are a little bit on the pricey side um but whenever lexi has um sales they're always really cheap so um, yeah, this is like definitely my favorite to just blend out any harsh lines like it applies It blends out the product so nicely and then I feel like you can even use this to just apply like a, a priming color like after you prime your um Your eyes you can use this to apply the the setting colors. So yeah, this brush is really nice and it's fluffy and comfortable, you know, like, um, I remember the first brushes I ever got, they were like so hard and so uncomfortable. So yeah, it's a huge upgrade to Lexi brushes for me, in my opinion. And then the next one is this Lexi 211 Concealer. So this is technically supposed to be a concealer brush. Um, what I would use this, I would use this as a concealer brush, but I would use it to kind of like, um, like if you're kind of going for a cut crease look, um, apply the concealer on the brush and then just put it on your lid to kind of just cut the crease, you know? So this brush would be really good for you to use when you're cutting the crease because it's so nice and dense. Like this is really dense, so it won't eat up a lot of the product and it would just apply on very nicely so and the last eye brush is this Luxie 217 pencil brush so this is what it looks like I use this to apply shadow on the lower lid I feel like it's so much easier to kind of blend out any shadow down here I love this for that and then sometimes um, if I'm like using someone else's liquid lipstick i'll put it um or anybody's lipsticks or anything i'll put the product on this pencil and then just kind of like apply it on my lips too you know so all of these brushes have multiple uses but they're so nice i absolutely love lexi brushes like i said they are on the little bit pricier side they're a little bit more expensive than morphe and um but i just feel like the quality is a little bit better um with some morphe brushes that i had i did deal with a lot of shedding and i don't deal with any shedding with these brushes so i really love lexi brushes they're definitely my favorite and i honestly like wouldn't mind paying a lot of money for them because i just i really like them so yeah um that is all of the brushes that I love from Luxie. 
Um, I do have other brushes, but they're all packed up and ready for us to move. So I just thought I would do a favorite Lexi's video, a favorite Lexi's brushes video. Just kind of like to get a video out for you guys and maybe maybe it'll kind of get you guys in the mood to buy some or something like that. Um, but yeah, I will leave a link down to the 12 piece set and the detailed eye set that I purchased. But yeah, that is all for today's video. Let me know what you guys thought about the Luxie brushes and if you guys own any. And if you like them better than Morphe or if you like Morphe better, let me know. I always like knowing. No arguing though, please. Um, I know a lot of people can get pretty nasty done in the comment sections below. But like I said, everybody has their own opinion. So you guys might not like you guys might not like Lexi brushes, but I absolutely do. So, um, yeah, that is all for this video. Thank you guys again, and please don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. And we will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Mwah.